Hello everybody, welcome back. C Ray Tech here. Today we have dun, 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 iDrones DM002. Now, I know I've been talking about a giveaway, and this is it, guys. So this one's gonna be mine. And this one's gonna be whoever wins it. So to enter for this, all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the video. My goal is I want to reach 100 subscribers. The reason why I want to do that is I want to be able to have my own custom URL. That gets me a lot uh, closer to being able to get out more videos, uh, higher quality videos. So I'm really asking you guys for help here. So if you want your very own DM002, like I said, all you got to do is comment and subscribe. So let's get started. So let's take a look what's inside the box. <clears throat> That's kind of cool. So it looks like they give you maybe a little landing pad you could cut off. So looks like here we've got so we've got our transmitter. And this thing is very light. It seems very flimsy. But Okay, like I said, $35. Now prices may vary, it could go up and down, but it took me a week and a half or so to get it, which isn't too bad. This takes four AA batteries. <clears throat> All right, looks like you get some instructions. Um, and then it looks like an assembly guide. In this case, two. Let's set all this aside. Let's take a look in here. All right, so we've got some motors. I believe these are seven millimeter motors. We've got the frame. Looks like the camera housing, the extensions for the transmitter, and the battery. This has a 300 milliamp hour battery. Um, I'm not, <clears throat> I have no idea what the C rating is. I couldn't find it any listed anywhere. So we'll go ahead and throw these on. All right. Got our flight controller be interesting to see if this one is possible, if you can flash this one at all, but I'll have to take a look into that. So it looks like we've got our power lead for our battery and for our camera. I think it's really nice that they put the connections on the board like this so you don't have to solder. So pretty much anybody can just buy this, a set of goggles, if they wanted to fly FPV, and they'd be good to go. And they get to build their own quadcopter. So this has a micro lossy connection. I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to swap that out for a JST because I don't have too many of these batteries. I think I'm going to attempt to fly it with one of these 650 milliamp hour batteries. Come on, focus. There we go. These are some holy stones I picked up. We'll see. I'll have to weigh them out, see what the weight difference is. Size difference is not too bad. I think I could Velcro it on, but this one does feel a lot heavier. So let's take a look at the camera. Well, that's cool. So it looks like they give you an extra cable if you wanted to directly power the camera. So I wonder if you could just run two bat oh, whatever. I probably won't be using this. So we've got our camera. This thing looks pretty cool. So this does 40 channels I believe. Um, it's got race band. You can do 25, 50, and 100 milliwatts I think. I'm just going to use 25 to start. <clears throat> you get some props and an extra set. 
you get a USB to my closet charger with a uh, tool to remove your props. And that's it. All right, so I actually, cheater, cheater, I put one on together already because I wanted to fly it. I got really excited. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the build real quick and some things that I noticed that I would like to improve or at least maybe change. And yeah, let's go to it. All right, so first things first, let's get the frame orientated correctly. So we're going to want to have, I'm going to face the front towards me the whole time. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the camera in a little bit more. So you guys can see everything okay. All right, so we're going to orientate it to where we have an A and a B here. And the reason that we're doing that is... <coughs> want to be able to mount the motors in appropriately and the great thing about this quad is everything's color coded so you can separate your motors Oops. so in the uh, I asked you to put these wires through this little track here in the instructions so I'm just going to kind of do that right now so it's a little bit easier so what we're going to do is we're going to move, we're going to make, so we're going to make sure this is all set up right. Alright, so we've got, <clears throat> the easiest way to tell is, so this needs to be the back. And I know that because there's the wiring harness here that we have for this little plate. That's going to go out the back where the camera is, so you've got your tilt and the camera facing this way. So we'll go ahead and set this in there, just like that. Get these wires ran through here. And then, I would, I want to drill a hole in this so I can run this antenna through. I wonder if I could actually run it through like this. Because I don't like that it's not sticking straight up that it's buried underneath there, but that's okay. Alright, so we've got our motors in. We'll go ahead and plug them in. We've got our protective cover for our flight controller in. We've got our wires routed through this little cubby in the back. Or place here, you can see that. So let's see here. Go ahead. Get all these motors plugged in. Make sure we route our wires down because we don't want them to get stuck in the props. So we'll go ahead and push these through as we plug this in. So then now I'm going to try to put the camera in the housing. I'm doing this completely out of order than the instructions, but it's okay. So I'm going to push that in there, make sure it's nice and flush. Now when you do put this on, you kind of lose the ability to press that button. So I've been just using a little screwdriver. So we'll go ahead and get this installed in here. Let's see. Ooh, that might not fit. Put that in there like that. If I can, nope. <clears throat> so let me do that with that end. So I have to pop this out. Or maybe 
maybe I can push this in there for now. That's very disappointing. That's probably going to severely affect the range, but <laughs> for now we'll do that just to get this to up and together. I'm only going to be flying in my house for now, so I can pop that off. I just don't have a small flat screwdriver right now. All right, so we've got our camera on now. That's looking pretty good. See how that looks when it goes on there. So you can tilt it. It's not very loose, so it seems like even with vibrations it shouldn't be moving. It's got a nice clover leaf antenna on it. We'll see how long that lasts. So at this point really all that's left to do is throw the props on and a battery in it. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> now it's going to be props labeled A are going to go to the blue motors. And props labeled B are going to go to the, I'm sorry, clockwise, red and white, or red and blue wires are going to have A props. Black and white wires on the counterclockwise are going to have B props. So go ahead and pick those out. Set these aside. All right. Go ahead and push these on. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and borrow the battery from this one since it's all charged up. Slide it in this nice little harness they got down here. If anybody already has this and has found a good upgraded battery, please let me know. I've not really flown it to see if it would give me the full seven minutes yet. So it might not even be necessary. All right, so the quad's powering up just fine. Let's see if it binds okay. I always like to make sure that the quadcopter itself is working before I put connect the camera. All right. Cool. All right, so let's unplug this. We'll get the camera plugged in. I'm going to. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to put this wire through this wiring harness here, and I'll show you why as soon as I get it. Oop, sorry, I bumped my camera. So I'll show you why here in a second. I can get that to go through there. All right, so the reason why I'm doing this, so we can get this out of the way, I can wrap this up here. <coughs> We'll keep all of this wire out of the way. That might be too tight. So let's do just this much. worry about the props touching it at all. Alright, so now let's get it set up. <clears throat> Alright, so you'll see here if you can't see that. So it starts out with the zero, 
what you want to do is you want to hold this down for I believe two seconds and I'll let you select Oops. I'll let you select your band so you got A, B, E, F, and race band so what we'll do is we'll use F Hold it again, and we can. Oops. And here we'll choose our channel. So we'll go to channel two. All right. In the last part, if you want to change your power setting, go ahead and long press this button. I believe it's for five seconds. You'll notice here when you get it to that setting, it'll go one two, three, those are your different power level settings. Once that's chosen, you let it set, and then once you see it cycling through, that means you're good to go, and you should be getting FPV transmission. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, I've got the lens cap on, one second. All right, so there you go. We've got a few transmission now, so we can go ahead and fly it around. I'm going to get it all set up, and I'll cut away to some flight footage.